for this demonstration, we'll be using computer-based labeling software to create labels for cabinets or racks. The first thing I do is pick my label, and in this case, I have a two inch wide by one inch high label. And then I can choose the serialization tool in the software. This allows me to define a start value and a stop value. In this case, I will choose a start of 11 and a stop of 15. And it also allows me to enter a prefix. In this case, I will use the prefix of AY. Recall that the identifier in this case is a combination of the floor space number and the tile grid number. So I have created identifiers from AY11 to AY15. The last thing I want to do is print a few additional copies of each label identifier. That's because I want to label the top and bottom and the front and rear sides of my cabinets. So in this case, I'm going to create four copies of each label and I will click save. I want to increase my font size from the value of 12 in this case to 48 to fill up my label uh, as much as possible for the nicest looking label I can get. And then the last thing I'll do is go ahead and print these labels. And as you'll see, they are printed out on a thermal transfer desktop printer.